The following Let's Play has been rated for mature audiences only. Any attempts to break the game are for entertainment value only. However, if any typos happen to be found... <laughs> Alright. Level 9. This is the same level I was whenever we finished with Zoe. Let's see, did we learn any new skills? We learned something. Oh, we learned Motivate. That's not going to be helpful at all. Alright. Hopefully I can cause enough damage now. If not... I don't know. This is tiring. This is really... Really tiring. Alright. That's a one-hit kill, restore 27 HP. I should be able to survive this attack. Why don't they use that one attack again? The, the attack where all they did was get rid of my MP. Whatever. Finally, finally beat these guys. Question is, do I win this security alarm? No, I get squat. I have the opportunity to get the treasure right now, but I really want to find out what happens if I wait out the three days and looking at that notebook. So I'm going to keep on doing this until I finally obtain the security alarm, which apparently the moment I pick it up, it's like, oh, wait a sec, you're not my owner. Whoop, whoop, whoop. That is an unfortunate item to win if you're a thief. Alright, so here's another battle, and from that last battle, I won this thing called the Ninja Dagger. It is basically a much improved Thief Dagger. Let's see what this does. 408 damage, restores 79 HP. Why could I have not won that earlier? My goodness. It's based on luck. Your success in this quest is based on luck. That's not good. Alright, there's the burglar alarm. <sighs> Alright, we're fighting all the, uh, of course, this is her house, so it makes sense. Kind of funny that we're fighting the person who teaches us how to be romantic. Okay, she kills us in one hit. Supposedly, it's possible to actually win one of these fights with these people and kill them, which would get you in big trouble. I don't know what level I would have to be to do that, though, and quite honestly, I'm not willing to find out anyway. Uh, by the way, while I was grinding, I decided that uh, that last grinding session to take along uh, both of the wood elves. Was this I supposed to, like, get kicked out of the house where I would be captured by a guard? Yes, I, I need some kind of key. Where's the event that said where the person says how much time I have left? Um. Alright, let's try this one more time. Just gonna slowly walk and watch for that exclamation mark. No, it's not there. Is the purpose of that book to trigger the guard saying how much time I have left? Because if so, that would be pretty stupid. Alright. Well, whenever I get near that book, it triggers automatically. Because I just stopped in my track, so it must be triggering. So now what? Do I go over here and then suddenly I'll be allowed to leave? Or not allowed to leave. Of course I won't be allowed to leave, but will it trigger the guard event? Just walking slowly. No. There is an event here. I know there's an event here where the guard says whether I how many how much time I have left. 
Okay, let's try let's try the other door. There is a second door. There it is. All right. Let's just move in here. And break this wall down and there's the other one. Will I find out how much time I have left in here? No. Um. Is something broken? Alright. There really needed to be a save point in that jail. So you. It, it, even. I don't know what the deal with was the day thing. I quit the game because I wanted to find out what was up. If I triggered something wrong. The event where I talked to the guard. It doesn't seem to be broken or anything. It, in fact, there's nothing about it that should have prevented me from being able to interact with it. So I don't know what to deal with that is. All I know is I had to quit the game, so I lost that special dagger I got. And I'm not interested in trying to get it again because it seems to be a rare drop. So let's just finish this quest. Whatever that table is for, whatever. 5,000 gold? Wow. That is a lot of money in that one chest. Alright. Let's see. Same message as before. Alright, now what? Okay, well that's all of the jobs we're currently offering. <laughs> I think I've used... I mean, I think we've helped each other all we can. At least in the way of thievery. Talk to me again, though. I just might have something for you. Okay. I'll do that, and then I'll go ahead and save. Wait, what? Having taken the first big step on his chosen path, Victor felt much pride in his many accomplishments, but it was tempered by the knowledge that he may have lost his last chance to win his mother's approval. In spite of this, he carried on, but soon heard even more voices calling to him. Five years later... He knew that pleasing one parent meant betraying another, but in the end he chose to follow his heart, no matter what might happen. His charm and creativity were his tools, and with them he built a new life on, of his own. And now that he has made a name for himself, many new doors have opened. And now I look fancy, and as soon as I get in a room that's lit, I'll find out how fancy. Well dang! I knew that cutscene was going to come eventually. Not specifically that cutscene, I wasn't sure. But the five years later thing, like with Zoe had, I was kind of hoping for it to be like the last thing, and then that would be how we end this game. But, um... Apparently not. So what do I look like here? I look like... I look like this. Now I look even older. It's only been five years, but I guess that's what fi uh, five years of thievery will do to you. I'll have to check my parents' house in a bit. For now, let's find out what, um, whatever her name was, was talking to me about. Tempest. I guess she's going to give me, like, a prize for completing the quest or something. Wait. No, there is nothing else. Okay. Oh, wait, wait, wait. No, I bet I have to do this, don't I? Okay, well that's all of the jobs we're currently offering. It's the exact same message. Talk to me, though. Yeah, that's what I just did. It's the same message. Okay, what happens if I chat with you?
Okay, that's the black market option. So there is no chat option. Does she just not give me a prize or is it just broken? Okay. New thing then. To finish off this game, we're going to search around town and find out who all we can steal from. And actually try to steal. No. Let's see, who is out and about during the day? I know this guy is. Night, whatever. We'll figure out who's who at night is stealable from. Well, let's go ahead and first check what our parents say now that I'm a professional thief. I know things haven't been easy for you here, but I just know you're going to do well. Uh-huh. And what about you? It's time you got a job, and I- Oh, it's the same- It's the same messages, isn't it? I do like how she turns around every time I talk to her. It's like the one movement command you can actually give to these people. Alright, well, if there's one person I know I can steal from, it's this... This person. Steal. You attempt to steal from Marla. You stole 526 gold from Marla. I win! I knew there was somebody in town who keep, kept giving me magic healing items. Uh, all I had to do was chat with her. Alright, we can steal from Seymour. You have stolen the spices from Seymour. Just spices? I could have just gotten those from a treasure chest somewhere. Christian and Iris, those are the two wood elves. Like I said, they are actually kind of useful in battle. I wish I had uh, taken with them with me in my team whenever I was playing as Zoe. We could have been like a team of three archers and a dog. But of course, there's the issue that there's no quick way for it to become knight, so my only real available time uh, teammates were during the day. And he's not giving me choices to talk to him. What about you? Is it possible to miss this quest or something? I don't know. Did I break something? I don't know. I don't know if there are people you can steal from, but I'm not going to find out. Also, Frizzy's house was not one of the places we invaded, was it? Was it? I can't remember. Was it one of the first th first three houses we could go to? I don't know. But if not... I don't know. It seems like Frizzy was is potentially... Frizzy's house has got to have some sort of importance. Was it the place we steal from? I don't know. Also, we are, are not finding very many people who you can steal from. So far, I have searched everybody at night and most people from the day and so far... Oh, here's a third person we can steal from. Florence! We have stolen the good bandit's glove from Florence. So there are better gloves. Which means somebody might be holding... Why is she holding a bandit's glove? Alright, near as I can figure, I have talked with everybody in town, and three people can be stolen from, the rest cannot. Aside from the two, the, the Tank brother and the Tank sister, who I may or may not be able to steal from, but I can't find out for whatever reason. Well, that's pretty much the end of this game then. But there are a couple things I want to check first. Number one... What if I what if what happens if I steal from you again? Nothing more to steal. Alright. 
that's it for the, what's in the game. Now we go to the editor to find things out. First off, it has bugged me for a long time that there's supposed to be three people in West Moyos, but I've only been able to outside of West Moyos, outside of homes. On this map, there are three people. It says there are three people, but I've only ever seen two. Let me see if I can figure out who the third person is supposed to be. Is it somebody that would be over here? Um, no? I wonder, is this an event? I don't think so. No. Let's see if I can find that third person anywhere. Well, here's Fristy's house. Uh, this isn't going to show me if there's a third person on that one map, but... Let's take a quick look at this room preview. Yeah, I think I did have to come here to steal something. Or did I? I mean, there's a vent scattered around like I would be stealing something, but... Hold on, can I like... No, I don't think I can do event placement in this house without actually doing the house. I'm just going to delete some buildings here and there because I'm not finding the person that I'm supposed to be able to find. So they might be hidden. Tempest? Tempest? Tempest is out here? Under what conditions? Let's see, what is the message? You know it's funny, for so many years those gloves were all I cared about, but now that I have you, I realize that the gloves were just symbols of something that I cherished. I no need them anymore. You are much more important to me. The gloves symbolize love, but you give me that, and so much more. Oh. So, she's there if you marry her, and you get a silver hookah. I don't know what the silver hookah is. It's fairly early on the list, though. Well, that makes me curious about something else, then. Also, she's there during the day. So, yeah, that would be marriage thing. Exit the layout editor. Let's go to... Fristy's house. Where is Fristy's house? Of course, I deleted Fristy's house. No problem, just reload the game. Now, where is Fristy's house? Here it is. Thief Quest 3? Is there a third Thief Quest? What is in here? Um... Nothing. The quest 2M, 3 quest 3M, 1M, what does this do here? Nothing. Okay, let's bring up the, how, the memory usage thing. This house is apparently, was apparently planned for a thief quest, but it was ultimately not used for the thief quest. So let's just delete these events. See if we can get that below 99.9%. 99.8%. Well, there you go. You had a house that was taking up unnecessary memory. Now we could like have a dog tell you that you're going to join that he's going to join the party. My gosh. Okay, what else was I wanting to look at? Oh, yes. Where is Christian and Iris's house? The hookah. They have a hookah. Elf weed. Let's see. This hookah. Place sound effect. Flash screen. Modify weather. Sound effect. Very, very weird. Nope, that's all it does. That I can tell. Alright, and then there's the silver hookah. It's a recovery item, one use. 
Yeah, one use. Heals 150 HP on everybody. So there's that. And lastly, what the heck is with that table in Moyo's jail? I looked at it and there wasn't anything special about it aside from it has something to do with a variable. However, I noticed this recently. Message display. I didn't notice that before because the text is kind of hard to read, but there's a message here. Dear Tempest, I'm sorry things wound up happening the way they are or the way they did, but I think we both know you had it coming to you. Don't play all innocent, you know you're a bad girl. I'll be in jail for the next three days for the job that I did with you, but they don't know about that other thing. Let's keep it that way. When I get out, I'm coming for you, so don't think about running off. Lance Riss. Okay, so it's possible to marry Tempest. I don't know if she gives you another quest, but there's this. Who? This didn't activate first off. It. it I assume it went to option one. So like t this event would have to be variable sixteen. It would have to be set to one. I don't know what the conditions are to get that to set to one. But somehow this would trigger after a certain way. I don't know. Well, okay, and upon checking Tempest's event, it does not seem that she does anything after this quest. So I don't know what that Lance thing is about, although she does give an interesting message whenever you get caught and actually wait out those three days. But of course, I'm not going to worry about that. So as far as I can tell, I'm done with the game. There is nothing else to do. In fact, just to show that no, nothing is special about the events in Frissy's house, I have teleported myself into Frissy's house in playtest mode. There's just nothing here. These events should be interactable, but they aren't. Now I can go outside. Nothing's happening. I don't know what the deal with Frissy's house is, but apparently it's just a waste of space. And so, we are going to end this episode the fun way. After all, we don't want to end this episode too sourly, considering this is pretty much the end of the game. So I am going to do that thing that I wish I could have done before, and gather a team of three archers and a dog, and kick some butt outside, shoot some bad guys. And where I were fighting these things, before we go to the review later on next week or the week after, I don't know, I'm not really feeling it at the moment. Here is a short review of the game. It's not bad. Certain things are an issue because of RC Maker 3, and then of course there's how I really don't like the battles of this, of this game. There we go. Only 134 damage, but... I didn't give give him any special equipment. These two are wearing their original equipment, but still, it's so fun to shoot enemies with a with a bow and arrow. Really wish I had gotten these two, but again, like I said, can't. Unless I use this editor, this uh, the playtest mode, in order to cheat and just say, you know what, it really needs to be night. So what I'm gonna do is. And then it's night. I can also do this. Battle encounters. I don't have to wander around in order to get these guys to appear. And then we have four bats. Screw those bats. Let's just do this. Force victory. The end. Thank you for watching and stuff.